let us discuss effect on fsc that is free surface correction due to internal transfer here we have two tanks one was on the port side and another on the starboard side port side tank is uh, full of uh, fresh water whereas the starboard side tank is empty the dimensions of the tanks are as a 12 meter 10 meter and 8 meter and similarly this tank now we transfer 50 percent of fresh water from port side tank to starboard side tank so what happens well we have transferred this much water from port side to starboard side so the weight of the water transfer is going to be like this w is equal to 12 into 10 into 4 into 1 the weight of uh, liquid transfer is uh, 480 ton which is uh, volume into density volume is 12 10 and 4 so this is 12 meter this is 10 meter and this one is 4 meter so this 480 ton is transferred from port side to starboard side now let's find out kg1 kg1 is uh, going to be uh, 6 meter and kg2 will be 2 meter which is half of 4 meter here this one is the 4 meter so kg2 is 2 meter and the kg1 is uh, 6 meter which is 4 meter plus 2 meter these are the centers of gravity of the weight uh, uh, transferred from this place to this place so we need to find the distance uh, shifted which is kg1 minus kg2 so if we look at this here kg of the ship is also 6 meter and kg1 is also 6 meter and kg2 is also 2 meter and this weight is transferred in vertical direction from g1 to g2 weight is transferred like this and we are interested only in this vertical component uh, vertical shift which is kg1 minus kg2 that is 4 meter so we need to find what is the shift of a center of gravity which is given by this formula that gg1 is equal to w into d divided by wf where w is the weight shifted d is the uh, distance shifted and wf is the final uh, displacement which is not going to change so the w is 480 and a small d is 4 and the wf which is final is a uh, 10,000 ton we have taken the value as 10,000 ton here so we get this uh, 0 0.192 and the kg1 well this will shift vertically downwards so kg1 is kg minus gg1 and the value is 5.808 so if km is given and we assume that the km is 7 meter so 7 minus 5.808 we get 1.192 that is the gm a solid now let's find out fsc free surface correction which is given by this formula that fsc is equal to fsm by w and fsm is i into di well i is lbq by 12 so free surface movement of port tank is going to be 12 into 10 raised to the power 3 by 12 into 1 which is 1000 ton meter well here both the tanks are identical and both are slick so the total free surface movement will be twice that so that is 2000 ton meter now let's find out the free surface correction which is going to be 2000 divided by displacement and displacement is not going to change we had assumed that displacement of this vessel is 10,000 tons so we have this free surface correction which is 0 0.2 meter we need to apply this free surface correction which is 0 0.2 meter to this GM solid so we get GM fluid as 0 0.992 meter 
we can also solve this problem by this uh, simple uh, movement table remark weight kg and vertical movement well uh, here it is a ship and the weight is 10,000 kg of the ship we have taken as 6 meters so the vertical movement is uh, 60,000 well we have transferred 480 from port side to starboard and the transfer distance is 4 meter vertically downward which will reduce the vertical movement so we have this minus 1920 and I have put the value 0 since we transfer so I am not going to add or subtract this from the displacement of the ship so and the FSM we had calculated was uh, 2000 because uh, both the tanks are slack now once we have transferred so we have this final weight as uh, 10,000 ton and final vertical movement 60080 so we'll get final kg fluid as 6.008 well I can explain this here uh, this is K and this is G that is center of gravity which is 6 meter since we shifted or we transferred the weight downwards so GG1 has uh, come down this is the new uh, uh, center of gravity and KGV this is uh, final well the GM fluid is KM which is uh, we had taken as 7 meter minus uh, 6.008 which is this value so we get the value as 0 0.992 meters